Did you knew that GT stands for Gran Turismo? Trust me, I, I've spent literally seconds to Google search this question. Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about GT games for Java. The description of GT Racing Motor Academy states that this game is similar to Ferrari GT Evolution in style. I partially agree, but I still disagree. I mean sure the turning animation is similar and maybe some of the challenges, but I consider the differences big, even in terms of style. I said in the Ferrari GT video review that each of the Ferrari GT games had personality and this game has its own too. I wouldn't really compare it to Ferrari GT, but rather to a game like for example Gran Turismo. The game feels like you are testing cars on different tracks and you will have from what to choose from. The game has 21 licensed cars and 9 tracks to test the cars on. You don't have to buy the cars to drive as many as you get, you just do the career mode which consists of 6 challenges in 4 different leagues and you get a lot of cars to drive in. Actually, each challenge has a different car. You play each challenge with a different car and in my opinion the challenges aren't exciting at all even if you get a different car in each challenge. You get stuff like break in time. So you drive for a few seconds and then stop. Or you have to drive a curb. Yeah, a single curb or well multiple curbs. But there are challenges where you have to drive a single curb and then you pass the challenge. But for people who are into simulation games, well, back in the day it will have reminded them of simulation games like Gran Turismo. But nowadays, I would rather recommend the Android version of the game or play Real Racing if you want something in the simulation style, like for example something like Gran Turismo. Even if this Java game looks like a simulation, it isn't. The cars don't handle like in reality and not even close to reality. Actually they handle, well, pretty bad if you are used to modern titles, but average for a normal Java racing game. But still, I can't deny that the game has style. And if you like to complete challenges in different cars and in different locations, you will like this game. GT Racing 2 is a true masterpiece. Everything in the game reeks quality. From the slick menus, to the music tracks, to the animations. Everything. And before comparing the game to Asphalt 6, just know that only the quality is like in Asphalt 6 and that the game isn't a copy of Asphalt. For example, this game doesn't focus on Nitro, nor do you get multiple colored Nitro boosts like in Asphalt, but you get other features. For example, if you want to get ahead of your competition, you don't wait for some Nitro, but you drive behind them and slipstream. Yeah, slipstreaming in a Java game. How cool is this? Also, just like in the first game, you can change the camera. You can have a cockpit view or even a bumper cam. You can tune your vehicle performance wise, you get 22 vehicles from different categories and many different tracks. And the tracks are gorgeous. The amount of detail you get per track is amazing and there are so many well-made and jaw-dropping polygon structures on the road, it, it, it's just amazing for a Java game. Also the game developers ditched the boring challenges from the first game and focused on street racing challenges more and I like the change. GT Dirt Racing is a touchscreen game with kind of bad controls and not so smooth gameplay. The game is rather boring. It's the arcade type of the game where you steer left or right to avoid other vehicles and well get a good score. It could have been good but 
I don't know, something about it doesn't attract me. Even if I like this type of gameplay. I mean, I, I like this type of games. But not really this one. But I can't really tell why. I mean, I don't have a logical argument for which I didn't really like the game. Maybe it's the looks or maybe it's the kind of bad controls or maybe it's because the game wasn't running smoothly in, on my device. And Racing Fever GT is another masterpiece. From gameplay to looks, this game has it all. Well, except for content, but I'll get to that. The graphics are obvious from the video. This game has almost a 3D background and the art style is really good looking. And the gameplay, well, it's repetitive. But even if it is repetitive, man, is it good. In this game, you have two goals. Get on ramps and crash into other vehicles. You can drive onto wheels and this is all you do in the game. But it's fun. It's one of the few games I'm calling a masterpiece in spite it having obvious flaws on paper. I mean, it's repetitive. It has only three locations and one car. So the content you get is actually pretty weak. But the gameplay and the graphics are really good, which makes the game actually very good. And the game has a 3D version too, which is as good as this one. It's basically the same game, but made in 3D, and it's awesome. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.